This is a criminal hideout. People come here to do all sorts of sketchy things, like slinging a little bit of that blue stuff. Yo, I'm really sorry, okay? What is wrong with you? Why are you blue? But they don't just do that here. Criminals also use it as a place to stash stolen military weapons and armaments. Basically, a criminal safe house. However, one day, the FBI SWAT team showed up. and pretty much ruined everybody else's fun, seizing the stolen weapons and arresting all of the criminals. Ha Once again, Uncle Sam is the victor in all of this, and they cart away the weapons, leaving a derelict old house sitting for a number of months. Until one day, a famous local man shows up. Florida man returns to his old hideout here and is ready for one more major crime. After months of playing Xbox, he wants to do real life GTA and steal some cars. So I thought I'd help him out with that. I purchased some Lego City uh, police cars and car chase vehicles here for Florida Man to do some real life Lego GTA with. So we're gonna go ahead and build these so Florida Man can steal some vehicles and then we're going to have the police on him in an epic police shootout along with some of Florida Man's other criminal cronies. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and stay tuned till the end because there will be a giveaway. Now let's get into this thing and build these squad cars. Let's do it. And there we have it, some lovely cars here. The stolen car being this beautiful muscle car. But how did it get stolen? Well, Florida man went and had a chat with his friend Vanessa, asking her to go steal them a getaway vehicle because he has much bigger plans and he needs a car for them. So late that night, Vanessa pulled up to town and she saw that there were a couple of vehicles parked outside the bank. That's suspicious. One rinky dink little tractor and then the beautiful sports car. Naturally, she chose the expensive one. And that's how the car ended up in Florida man's possession. However, to pull off this job, Florida Man is going to need some henchmen. So let's go ahead and create some armored criminals. All right, here are Florida Man's goons, the gooners. Florida Man, like the drill sergeant he is, is assigning each of them a different role. And there is Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's go ahead and armor these guys up as well as equip them with some weaponry. First boy we're pimping out is the middle fella right here. Let's go ahead and give him a tactical vest and we'll start simple with just a little PDW SMG for the boy. But then let's immediately kick it up a notch with this fella right here. Once again, I have a tack vest for him. This one is much bulkier. So this guy might be heavy weapons, man. I've also got this really clunky looking tactical helmet for him. And then because he is heavy weapons man, let's give him heavy weapon. An extremely large minigun for the boy to fire. Yeah, the police are definitely going to have some problems with this bad Larry. Two down, four to go. Now for Vanessa over here. I've got a nice little utility belt for her. This is a brand spanking new minifig. So she is shiny. Can go ahead and slide a little nine millimeter into the holster right there and then I want to give her a fun gun so let's give her the thumper here I don't I don't even know if this constitutes a gun gun enthusiasts let me know in the comments but uh, it's more of a grenade launcher it does have a cylinder here that goes up and down so you can kind of reload it or simulate reloading it which I think is kind of cool so a pretty baller weapon for her uh, then that now, this guy with Laloid's face from Ninjago. I actually really like this criminal shirt he's got on. I, I think it's one of the cooler ones, so we're gonna leave that. But I think this is a cringe little beanie he's got on. So let's go ahead and put a ski mask on this dude. Yeah, it makes him uh, a little bit more threatening. This is a custom ski mask. I think it was from Brick Tactical? I can't remember. But let's also give him an AK-47 with a 2X scope and a nice little 
silencer on the front there. Looking spiffy, my dude. Now we've got the YI Auto looking ass. The 1940s gangsta dude. He's got a wicked generic body, so I do not mind putting a tactical vest on top of him. These guys need to be a little bit armored, you know, but I do gotta keep his little 1940s gangsta equipped. And let's go ahead and give him a Scar H right here. A really solid mid to long range assault rifle. And finally, El Capitan. Florida man. The man who's about to orchestrate the heist. Let's go ahead and give him an Asimov M4A4 and no tactical gear because my man, he doesn't need it. He's got his swimmy trunks on. He's got his tank top. He's got his flip flops. What more does a man need? Now the crew is all set up here. However, some trouble is a brewing. Police cruiser is driving down the road when they stumble upon somebody's littered peanut butter jar. Oh hell no! Of course, the top police detective has to go and investigate. This is a very serious crime. And when he enhances and studies the peanut butter litter, he finds fingerprints. He goes back to the station to analyze the fingerprints. And soon, he's got a match. Vanessa who is now wanted for littering on the ground. And they have her last known location, the rundown warehouse, where Florida Man is currently developing his heist scheme. But that will have to wait, as the police will now be on their way to arrest Vanessa. This is where we have our SWAT shootout. However, I do want to make a little bit more terrain here. It's pretty vanilla, to say the least. So I kind of want to turn this into a bit of a junkyard landscape have trash, barrels, etc, etc thrown around here to really make this warehouse look abandoned and also give these guys some obstacles to hide behind during the shootout. So with some movie magic, it will be done. Boom, baby, we've got just heaps of garbage here. I think this really does kind of look like a junkyard. We got pianos over here. We got some toppled vending machines, a toiler, some chemical barrels that I don't think anyone wants to smell, an old bar counter, an old bookshelf, the beautiful car in the middle, the only nice thing, and it was stolen, some overturned furniture and such, as well as just some general rubble throughout. So I think this really does look like a trashy place now. But we're gonna need our SWAT force to take them on. First off, we can have our police vehicles show up to the scene here. So we'll park them amidst the garbage and they can be used as cover. And then we've got our second police car here, also going to be utilized as cover. So the scene is set for the police shootout. Now let's get our officers. Of course, we're going to have our usual suspects like the SWAT helmet boy with his pistol and shield, the canine unit soldier with his trusty Greyhound with police vest on, our tear gas soldier with the vector and a very rootin' tootin' cowboy hat, and of course our 50 cal sniper SWAT member. So a very small SWAT team for today because I want to use some more standard police cops in this build as well. So we've got this fella here and his twin, a fairly decked out cop right here with some NVGs on and ballistics vest, another more beat cop uniform, and finally a bulletproof vest cop right here. Now I think it's time for us to build our shootout. Firstly, we have this police officer taking cover behind the cruiser. Beside her, we're going to have this cop with the MP5 spraying some suppressive fire. Returning fire behind some rubble is going to be our Scar H 1940s gangsta. We're gonna have our 50 cal sniper over here resting with the bipod on a stone and I think we're gonna need a victim of his in the form of this criminal who has been shot and taken down in the window of the house. Then we're gonna have Vanessa over here with the thumper and I want her to be causing some serious damage. So as you can see we can kind of make it so the police car is almost tilted up a little bit if you get it at the right angle and I want to put some fire and like explosion effect beneath it like the thumper hit the underside and lit it on fire. And there we go, some nice flames coming up from the half overturned police cruiser right there and the woman responsible across the way. We're gonna have this fellow with the tactical shotgun almost like trying to escape the fire. So we're having him crawling out of there with jets of flames licking his little feetsies. Pretty brutal scene to be completely honest with you but I think it looks fired <laughs> stop it 
get some help. Straight down the mid here, we're gonna have our shield up, basically pressuring and trying to draw as much fire as possible from the enemy, and we'll have our masked bandito here taking the bait, and we're setting him up behind the car, using it as cover to fire at the shield unit. I do want to do some stuff on top of the building using the heavy gunner, heavy weapons man. We'll have him turning to the side like this. He kind of looks like a janky ODST unit, and basically have him being a terror at the top of the roof, free firing down with his minigun. To deal with this dude, we gotta go Rainbow Six Siege style with our rootin' tootin' cowboy operator <laughs> on a on a nice little grappling hook here. Yeah, he's gonna zip line his way on up there. I've tried to angle it so it kinda looks like he's walking up the side wall Batman style right there and he's going to flank the heavy machine gunner. Of course, we're going to want the detective here and he's keeping an eye on the police dog because we don't want the pupper getting injured during the police shootout. As for the man behind all of this, Florida man is going to be off to the side here with his M4A4 firing at an angle behind some barrels for cover. And for our final police unit, we're gonna have him utilizing the shield unit as well. Sort of like a testudo formation here. Taking cover with the boy and firing over the shield while the shield unit fires from the left side right there so they can make progress forward. And then, you know, we gotta add some injured cops through the mock. Really make it look like they tried big pushes, have guns around them so that they look like they went down down during the action. And there we have it. I think a really nice police shootout mock going on here full of chaos and wonderment. I think my favorite parts have to be the big gunner getting flanked by our boy climbing up the side of the tower, along with the police vehicle here bursting into flames. I mean, that is just a very cinematic looking thing right there with the with the cop trying to crawl his way out of the fire. B E A beautiful baby. Yeah, this is a very very chaotic mock that we build here. As for the giveaway, we're going to be giving away a police unit along with an M4A4 ACOG scope rifle for you. If you guys want to enter the giveaway, just hit the like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below what other types of police situations would you guys like to see me build out of Lego. Either way, boys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.